And good morning to everyone here at the Georgia World Congress Center and for those of you who are watching on the web. This week we're celebrating the latest milestones achieved by Lab Tests Online. It's been 10 years since this site started educating patients about lab testing and teaching the world about what we do. It's been an incredible ongoing collaboration among representatives from 17 laboratory organizations. I also want to mention that LTO's app went live on Saturday, and it's available on iTunes. I've already downloaded mine. Today, it's my privilege to acknowledge the people who are most responsible for establishing the content that has won several awards of excellence. Now it's their turn to receive an award. And in fact, I can show you the award. The people that you see standing with me on the stage not only provide the site with professional expertise, but they also bring a heartfelt passion for patient education, and most of them have been bringing it now for more than 10 years. This, I believe, is what distinguishes Lab Tests Online from other resources on the internet. Each of these individuals will receive one of these beautiful etched glass awards, so let me introduce them. First, the eight founding members of the Editorial Review Board. These are the people who met by conference call on a weekly basis for two years and have since been meeting every two weeks to review and approve the, the material for the site. Representing AACC, Bob Dufour, a physician in pathology and laboratory medicine at the VA Medical Center and professor of pathology, George Washington University Medical Center. In addition to his role on the editorial review board, he also serves as, as executive editor, overseeing coordination of editorial efforts among the 17 national uh, lab test online sites. From the American Society for Microbiology, Roberta Carey, Chief Epidemiology and Laboratory Branch at the CDC from Clinical Laboratory Management, sorry, <laughs> thank you. From the Clinical Laboratory Management Association, Tony Curet, Administrator at University Pathologists Laboratories at the SUNY Upstate Medical University in New York, and two people who couldn't be here today, Alyssa Passament, the Executive Vice President at the American Society for Clinical Laboratory Science, and Bobby Reed, also from AACC, and who's happily retired um, from Mary Imogene Bassett Hospital in Cooperstown, New York, and is currently traveling. Three of the founding editors uh, have retired from the board but are here today, Sue Evans, who was instrumental in encouraging the AACC to take on this project, and is Vice President of Corporate Strategy at Beckman Coulter, Brea, California. David Sundwall, who represented the American Clinical Laboratory Association and is the Executive Director of the Utah State Department of Health. AACC's Shirley Welch, recently retired as Director of Chemistry at Kaiser Permanente in Portland, Oregon. Finally, we have three people who joined the board as the site entered its second year online. From the American Society for Clinical Pathology, Betty Jamison, the Educational Coordinator at Pathology Department at Children's Hospital in Denver, William Schreiber, who's Consultant Pathologist at Vancouver General Hospital and Professor in the Department of Pathology and Laboratory Medicine of the University of British Columbia and representing the Canadian Society of Clinical Chemists. Patrick St. Louis, the laboratory director at MDS Pharma Services Central Lab in Ontario, Canada. Please join me in congratulating them for a decade of outstanding service. Thank you. 